Hello once again dear viewers, you're watching Airy TV. Welcome to our news broadcast. First, a quick look at the media headlines for tonight. Two patients diagnosed positive for COVID-19 in tests carried out today. Financial contribution by nationals in U.S. to augment the Martyrs Trust Fund. Significance of China in trade import to Germany increasing. Russia completes its strategic deterrence exercise. Announcement from the Ministry of Health. Two patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 in tests carried out today at testing stations in Ansabar region. One patient is from testing station in Hamad Malo and the other in testing station in Habaro, Ansabar region. Meanwhile, four patients who have been receiving medical treatment in hospitals in the southern region have recovered fully and have been discharged from these facilities. The total number of recovered patients has accordingly increased to 9,559, while the number of deaths stands at 103. The total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 9,689. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 21 February 2022. Nationals in the United States contributed $1,352,421 U.S. dollars in support of families of martyrs and towards augmenting the Martyrs Trust Fund. According to the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare, $818,965 was contributed in support of families of martyrs, while $553,456 towards augmenting the Martyrs Trust Fund. Similarly, Ms. Margarita Zacharias, a national residing in Frankfurt, contributed 1,200 euros, and Sister Zagahanna Gelaski from Asmara contributed 20,000 nakfa towards augmenting the Martyrs Trust Fund. An activity assessment meeting conducted in Agordet subzone on 10 February disclosed that 88% of water and soil conservation programs in the subzone were successfully carried out last year. Moreover, the reports added that educational facilities have been put in place in every administrative area of Agordet, while the number of pregnant women delivering at health facilities has increased by 65%. Administrator of the subzone, Mr. Isaac Ta'um, said that alongside the effort to increase the participation of the public in the implementation of the chartered out programs, conducting elections of area administrators and managing directors, alleviating potable water supply problems of the administrative areas of Ali Banai, Degsay and uh, Endera Ayub, as well as collecting inland revenues, are among the programs for 2022. The participants on their part conducted extensive discussion on the reports presented and adopted various recommendations. Three months training program has been organized to 282 youth in Amin Haile subzone, southern region. The training included video camera and beauty saloon. Speaking at the graduation event conducted on 17 February, Mr. Gramai Gabru, head of the National Union of Eritrean Youth and Students branch in the southern region, indicated that the training was part of the effort by the union to develop the overall capacity of the youth. He called on the trainees to put into practice what they have learned from the training to support their livelihoods. That was our domestic news. Please search for the international right after a short break. China has remained as the most important trading partner of Germany for the six years in a row as the bilateral trade volume between the two countries increased significantly in 2021, according to data released by the Federal Statistical Office of Germany on Friday. Data shows that Germany's total imports from China soared by 20.8% year-on-year in 2021, and its exports to the country went as, as well, up as well in the year, an increase of 8.1% compared with 2020. 
Jürgen Friedrich, general manager of the Germany Trade and Investment, said that the significance of China in import trade of his country is steadily increasing, and China is one of the world's important growth markets, as well as an important partner in addressing global challenges such as the raging COVID-19 pandemic climate change and more. Citing data from the General Administration of Customs of China, the total value of imports and exports between these two countries in 2021 came up to about 235.1 billion US dollars. Russian President Vladimir Putin, together with Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko, watched the exercise from the Situation Center at the Kremlin as Russia completes its strategic deterrence exercise. Russia's aerospace forces, the strategic missile forces, the Northern and Black Sea fleets were involved in the drills. Previously, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that a series of exercises currently conducted by Russia are absolutely transparent and there is no need for anxiety or fear. Firefighters battled a wildlife uh, wildfire rather in Corrientes, Argentina, seeking to suffocate the flames sweeping through pasture in the rural area of the country. According to local officials in Corrientes, more than 600,000 hectares have been burnt through by wildfire in recent weeks, fueled by drought conditions in the country. Many of Argentina's yerba-made plantations are located in Corrientes, dealing the region an economic blow expected to cost millions of U.S. dollars. Please sit tuned for a recap of tonight's headlines. Two patients diagnosed positive for COVID-19 in tests carried out today. Financial contribution by nationals in the United States. Significance of China in trade import to Germany increases. Russia completes its strategic deterrence exercise. And that was our news for tonight, dear viewers. It is good night from us.